Hi FlossTube, thanks for stopping by my channel. My name is Shiloh and I am a cross-stitcher and knitter living in Nova Scotia, Canada. You can find me on Instagram as at xstitchmd and that's the name of my channel here on FlossTube as well, which you probably already know if you're watching me. <laughs> um, thanks for stopping by and hopefully I can keep you company today. Um, I'm sure all of us are inside, quarantined, all that fun stuff. I'm just going to talk about this very briefly because I know we're all like inundated, it's a hard word to say, <laughs> inundated, inundated with um, information about the coronavirus. Um, things are pretty much business as usual for me. I'm a physician and I work at the hospital, so I'm going to work every day. Um, but this past, this current weekend, I was supposed to be back home in Ontario um, with my fiance and my family and we we're supposed to do a bunch of wedding stuff, but obviously my flight got canceled. Um, and pretty much most flights in Canada are canceled right now. So it's really disappointing and kind of the uncertainty of not knowing when I get to go back and see my family and you know, all of that stress. It's a lot to deal with. So I'm very thankful that I have stitching and knitting and all those things to kind of distract my mind during those times. But on the right side, I got this weekend off and I have tomorrow off as well since I was supposed to be back in Ontario. So it's been kind of nice to just have some extra time to stay indoors and get some progress on some projects. So let's go ahead and talk about what I've been working on. So the first thing I'm gonna show you because I want to wear it <laughs> is I finished my Kith shawl. So I had showed this last time and that kind of gave me the motivation to go ahead and get it finished. So this is the Kith shawl by uh, Justina Lorkowska. And I knit this with um, Knit Picks Stroll Fingering Yarn in the colorways uh, white, which is the white, and then ash is the gray. And then the gold is called Treasure. So it's pretty cute. I like it. It turned out really well. I kind of went on a marathon of knitting last Sunday. I was watching Tiger King on Netflix, which I highly recommend. It's completely wild, um, pun intended. <laughs> but I basically just sat down and finished this shawl that day when I watched the entire seven episodes. So that was a very productive use of time. <laughs> so yeah, so that's an ending finish, which is very exciting. I also have two stitching finishes. Um, both of these are pretty small projects. Uh, the first one is, I believe I showed this last video. I can't remember if I talked about this in the last video. Um, anyway, this is Mini Quaker Stitches by Jeanette Douglas Designs. And I stitched this as a stitch along with uh, Jan Hicks from Jan Hicks Creates and um, Mama Sue. I'll link her um, down below. So, and I finished it. So this turned out super cute. It's really, it's pretty small. And this floss here is Gloriana Silk in the colorway Bellagio, which was included with the chart. And I pretty much just picked my own colors for this. It's all mostly DMC. I just kind of picked random colors that I liked and this turned out super cute I'm really happy with it it's stitched on 32 count um, natural linen and I'm very happy with it that was a super quick stitch it was like two days so kind of nice mix in some quicker ones um, another start and finish I had is this freebie it's called this two shell pass and you know I always try to coordinate my nail color <laughs> total total accident uh, so this was a freebie by Liz Nudson, from, who used to design for Bright Needle Designs. And apparently rumor is, is that they're coming back out of retirement to start designing again. But this was a really quick freebie. It just stitched up in a day. And I used uh, pretty much all Weeks Dye Works and Classic Color Works. If you look on my Instagram, I have a post that has all the colors I used. I remember that this is uh, Weeks Dye Works Periwinkle. I love that color. I changed all the colors. It was not supposed to be this palette, but I, I really love it. And it was just very calming and a good reminder that even though the world is crazy right now, this too shall pass. So super cute. No idea what I'm going to do with it. It'd be nice to finish it into a pillow, but that sounds pretty stressful. <laughs> I, I can, I can try. I'll try. So those are my two finishes. Um, in terms of whips, I worked on three, or I worked on two whips and I also had a new start. I was doing a lot of knitting the past couple weeks just because it's been I find like knitting is very mindless for me. Like I can literally watch TV while I knit. So sometimes when I'm not, my brain just needs a break. So I've been doing a lot of knitting lately. 
Um, but I have made some progress on some of my lips. So I made quite a bit of progress on the token. I'm actually almost finished it. So this is the token by Long Dog Samplers. And I'm stitching on 35 count ivory linen with two strands of DMC 814. So this is kind of where I mostly worked um, this past week. I got quite a bit done here. So I finished pretty much, sorry, all of these motifs down at the bottom here. And I really only, all I have left is just one motif right here. So this should be finished soon. It was kind of just like, I kind of got burnt out on it and had to put it away. But this should be a finish by my next video. And it's really pretty and I love it. And I'm really hoping I don't have to change our wedding date and that our wedding can still happen in September, but we will see. <laughs> so yeah, super pretty. I'm very happy with it. Oh, and a funny thing here is that I was showing this to my fiance and he's like, why does it say HS2 for me? And I was like, no, that's an N. But he was, he's convinced that that's a two, not an N. So he was kind of like, hey, why don't you have my actual last name there? But it's an N. It's what it was charted for, so that's what I put. <laughs> uh, so the other whip I was working on was a uh, flower sampler by Jardin Privé. It's actually called something else in French, but I can't pronounce that. And I was able to make it all the way down to the bottom. And I've been focusing kind of more in this area. Um, I stitched this little birdhouse in B last night, and I just think it's so cute. Got a fence, a watering can, and then this is the start of an alphabet down there. That's a V and half of the W. And I'm really enjoying this. It's stitched on 36 count marbled little bunny linen by X Jew Designs, which is a really pretty linen. And I'm using uh, two strands of DMC 632 over two. So this has been really nice to work on. And I really like this combination of the thread color and the linen. So yeah, I still have lots to go as you can tell, but it's coming along. All right, and then in terms of new starts, I had a new start. Uh, I've been waiting to start this one for a long time, but I was going back and forth with my fabric choices, and then I, I decided on this, which I'm very happy with. So some of you may recognize this. This is Rose Quaker, uh, and I'm stitching this on 36 count raw linen with two strands of the recommended DMC. And it's so pretty. I really like it. This fabric is like, I haven't stitched on this fabric before and it's like very soft. It's kind of weird. It's like, maybe because it's raw, it has like something in it. I don't know. It's, it's really nice though. Uh, Lori at Mischievous Stitches just recently finished this one and got it framed and it's amazing. It's so beautiful. So I'm really enjoying this so far. I haven't done a ton of work on it because I've been trying to finish up uh, the token first, but this will probably be, um, I'll pick this up again once I'm finished with that. So yeah, the colors in this are just, it's just so pretty. I love it. Love it. And I was debating back and forth. So if you look at the pattern of this, the alphabet is kind of just scattered throughout. It's not really in order. And at first I was kind of like, I don't like that. That's weird. But then the more I was looking at it, I was like, you know what? That's kind of cool. So I am just going to stitch it like that. So that's my stitching for the past few weeks. Um, as I said, I've been doing a lot of knitting. So let's show you what I've been knitting. So first of all, I finished this, which I told you about. And then I started another, uh, I started a new shawl. So this is actually more of like a, a, a wrap, a scarf, a wrap. I don't know, to me like this is a shawl cause it's like wide, but then a scarf or like a wrap is more of, um, oh crap, I'm in the middle, <laughs> I'm in the middle of a row. <laughs> My bad, this is all falling apart here. Okay, uh, so this is the, actually let me just slip all these stitches over because otherwise it's gonna be impossible <laughs> to show you. So uh, this is the moving forward wrap by uh, Bayron Handmaids. And I got this pattern off Ravelry and I'll link it below. Sorry, I'm just gonna show you like quickly slipping all these stitches. <laughs> um, and so this is a really pretty wrap and it's basically, uh, okay, it's just, you know. So this is what I have so far. And it's kind of a repeating pattern of garter stitch, stockinette with an eyelet, garter, lace, garter, and then this cool like stripy lace. So that's the repeat, these kind of six stitches. And then you repeat this whole thing four more times. Um, so it's it's really pretty and it knits up really quickly. So I'm really, I'm really, really enjoying this. And I was like laughing, I'm like, oh, it looks like it's a bib. <laughs> uh, but I'm knitting this with Knit Picks 
palette fingering weight yarn in the colorway cream and I think I have like six balls of this and this is this has been like one ball so far so I'll definitely have more than enough but it's really pretty I really am liking it and once it's blocked it's gonna look amazing just because this will all open up a bit more and it's it's curling a bit but it's really pretty so basically like the end is a point and then at the top it'll be like this so it's kind of the whole goal of it is like looking at an arrow and I just thought the sentiment of moving forward was very appropriate during this time. And this is my cute project bag for it, also from Knit Picks. Feeling super fine. I'm a fan. Uh, all right, and then the other knitting project I just started two days ago is the Hue Shift Afghan by Knit Picks. And here's what I have so far. So it's basically a mitered square blanket. So you knit each of these, these squares individually um, and you basically knit it in rows. So after this first one, then you pick up the stitches, knit this, pick up, pick up, and then start again here. So this is what it's looking like so far. So the whole point of it is the colors kind of shift. You can see it's really pretty. I really, really like it. So it's uh, 10 squares wide by 10 squares high. So this is just this is like half the height, but I still gotta do way more over there. And this is so much fun to knit. I actually like gave myself a sore arm because I've been knitting so much because I just like can't put this down. It's just so fun. The squares knit up super quickly and it's like very addictive, but I basically gave myself like, is knitter's elbow a thing? As I gave myself knitter's elbow doing, working on this. <laughs> uh, so I'm knitting it with the recommended yarn from Knit Picks. So this pattern is the Hue Shift Afghan by Knit Picks. I'm knitting it with Brava Sport Weight yarn, which is 100% acrylic. It's pretty nice stuff. It uh, So this is one of the colors that's being used. I think there's eight different colors and then there's black that goes like as a border all the way around. So I'm really, really liking it. It's super fun. I'm probably gonna knit another row again today. Just gotta get my knitting muscles back into shape. So yeah, that's my Hue Shift Afghan and I really am enjoying it. Okay, so that's what I've been working on. Let's move on to acquisitions. Cue laughing from my sister. <laughs> so one of the things I got in the mail this week was I signed up for the Weeks Dye Works Thread of the Month Club from Stitching Bits and Bobs and I'll link that below if you're interested. And that came this week. So it's 10 different Weeks Dye Works and I'm just copying Nicole from Nicole's Needlework with my, you know, pretty floss. <laughs> so the colors it came with are Blue Bonnet. I don't know if there's a good way to do this. Uh, Buttered Bean. Uh, I'm trying to read this backwards. Cactus. <laughs> you guys can read it, I can't read it. Uh, cognac. This is a really pretty color. I feel like this would be nice for like a, a Quaker sampler. Icicle. Liberty, this is a beautiful red. It actually matches, matches that quite nicely. Liberty, uh, plum, oh my goodness, I'm in love with that. Raspberry, also beautiful. I could foresee a Quaker sampler in this color. Oh, actually, one of my upcoming projects probably use that for. Oops. Stepping stone, very, very nice and white chocolate, which is super cool. It's highly variegated. So that was super fun getting that in the mail. I'm trying to collect the Weeks Dye flosses because I really like them a lot. So that was in mail, super fun. I also got an order from Shelly at creativequarters.ca. I recommend checking out her website because she offers free shipping to Canada and the US, which is amazing. So I bought two charts from her as well as a third chart that I bought from her off of a stash unload thing she was having on eBay. Let's just ship them all together for me for free. So nice. So this first one here is Quaker Style 6 by Marjorie Massey. And uh, Teresa Kitten Stitcher um, has been carrying her patterns. And so this was a Nashville, it was available at Nashville, but it's not a new pattern. Um, so you can probably tell why I love it because it's Quaker, which I love. And it comes with the full alphabet. So you can stitch whatever um, letter you want to do in the center there, which is really nice. And I love this, and this is actually what I was talking about when I was saying like, oh, this might be nice to stitch in the Weeks Dye Works Raspberry, but I will need a couple more of them. It's super pretty. I would like to start this soon. The other chart I got 
was Yonder by Hello from Liz Matthews. This was a Nashville release. And isn't it beautiful? I love it. Liz had pointed out on her Instagram that she forgot to stitch the white right here. And I told her that it's probably just like these are all dandelions and the fuzz is just being blown off. So we're going with that. But I just think this is beautiful and I'd like to start this soon. The colors are just perfect. Love it. Uh, Cindy C Stitches on Instagram uh, is working on this right now and hers looks amazing. And the chart I got from uh, Shelly's Stash and Load was Rachel Holmes by Heartstring Samplery. This is a bit of an older chart, but I needed it because I don't have it. The colors in this are just amazing. Like, look at this. Like, this is just fabulous. Love it. So I'd like to start this. I think this is all satin stitching right here. There's eyelets and stuff in this too. I think this is beautiful. I love the colors. So that was some other stash I got. Now this other stash I got was very kindly given to me by an Instagrammer who, so I've been posting about the common threaded stitcher. I'm sure some of you were posting about that on Instagram as well. I've really been enjoying it. And on the one day it was asking for you to post about your unicorn chart. So I had posted about this chart, which I saw uh, from Country Stitchers, Liz and Deb. They had posted about it and I was like, oh my goodness, I need it. But it's from the 2017 Cross Stitch Keepsakes calendar, which is out of print. So I had posted about it on Common Threaded Stitcher for the day about my unicorn chart and this Instagrammer very kindly offered to send it to me, which is so nice. So that came today. And this is the book itself, which I love this piece. How beautiful is that? This is by Emma Congdon. And I think I need to stitch that as well. But the piece that I had wanted was this one. Mary Had a Little Lamb by Barbara Anna Designs. And I'll go to the actual page so you can see it. Well, I guess that's basically the same size picture, but <laughs> yeah, it's probably easier to see here. But isn't this so cute? I saw it and I was like, this is so cute. It's actually not that big. It's only like 99 by like 150. So this will stitch up quickly and I'm hoping to stitch this soon. I just love because it's like kind of Quaker-ish, but also has like little people in it. I just think it's super cute. So thank you very much for sending that to me. That was so sweet of you and I really, really appreciate it. All right, moving right along. Um, I wanted to shout out a couple of people that I've been watching lately. Uh, so one of them is Amber from She's Crafting and she has been doing, um, so she does both knitting and cross stitch. And the most recent video I watched, she's working on Green on Green by Rosewood Manor Designs, and it is beautiful. I need that pattern. Uh, she also does a lot of knitting of shawls, and I really enjoyed watching her video and looking at all of her shawls. So I recommend you check her out. Uh, the other one is Jillian from Musings with Jillian, and she stitches the most beautiful Mirabilia, Lavender and Lace patterns. And I'm just in awe of everything she does because it's all like ginormous and sparkly and beautiful and amazing. So I recommend you check her out. The last one uh, I want to shout out is actually, actually, no, I have a couple. <laughs> so this is a, was a recommendation from Michelle Bendy Stitchy. She was talking about how she's been watching Julie McConnell from Reflections Framing and Stitching. And Julie's been doing a daily video where she pulls a chart that she likes. Um, so Julie owns a the local needlework shop. Uh, reflections framing and stitching in Nebraska and every day she's been doing a video where she shows a chart that she likes and she cho shows the flosses from it as well as some different like fabric options so it's basically like she's your floss tube shopper personal shopper it's really fun to get to see the fabrics and flosses because like a lot of you I don't have like a needle workshop that I can go to to see these things so it's really fun to get to see that and she always asks an interesting question at the end of her videos as well, so I really recommend you check her out. The last one I want to talk about is Fiber Talk. So Gary and Vanna have been doing what they call the Quarantine Stitch Hour. So Monday, Wednesday, Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern, they do one hour live stitching together. And it's so fun to just kind of like enjoy feeling like you have some company, that you're not alone. Um, so I've been really enjoying watching that, catching it live if I'm able to, so I'd really recommend you check them out. Uh, they're also having on April 12th, Easter Sunday, the, I don't know exactly what they're calling it, like Easter Stitching Marathon or something, well, the, where they will be doing a live video on, on YouTube from 12 p.m. Eastern to 6 p.m. Eastern. 
So basically six hours of stitching and live video. Like, does it get any better? And I'm very, very, very excited because I'm going to be a guest on there ah, for a slot. I'm super excited. Like, I, I feel like when I'm on with them, I'm just going to be like, oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. And I'm not going to be able to talk because I just think it, like, they're amazing. And the fact that I'm going to be able to talk to them is insane. I'm very excited about that. So, yeah, check out their YouTube channel, Fiber Talk lots of great information about needle art. It's very educational. That's what I tell myself when I'm watching Floss Tube. It's very educational because I'm learning more about my craft. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have for today. Uh, thanks so much for watching my video. Thanks so much for all your lovely comments. I hope you all are doing well. I know this is a really anxiety provoking time and I think like a lot of you, I feel very fortunate to have a hobby that can really help deal with a lot of this anxiety and just kind of help us cope with this time. And we're all in this together. So I'll see you soon. Um, talk to you later. Bye.